I'm feeling okay right here right now because there's not been anybody coming across the green. Uh, I'm just uh, I'm just hearing it from okay. There, there's someone coming out, but I think they're gonna stay in town because that's where all the stuff is. I, okay, they're kind of walking this way, but still, I, I think I'm okay here because yeah, I'm behind the bushes. I don't think they're gonna be able to see. Okay, okay, they totally see me. All right. Well, today's been two firsts for me. Uh, I've never shot in the direction of anyone, and I've certainly never shot anybody before. Uh, and, uh, and we're only a week in. I'm gonna admit that, uh, just like I said when the, uh, the aliens first appeared, I'm a little less shocked than I thought I'd be. Uh, I don't know, I, uh, I mean, the dude was hunting me, but uh, still, I mean, my, my body's shaking a little bit, but uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to have nightmares about it, maybe about being chased, but I don't know. Does that mean I'm not very empathetic? I like to think that I care about other people. Still, dude was hunting me, so what else was I going to do? Got this rifle they had. It's an SR-22 made by Ruger. I, I thought it was, I, I mean, just when he was chasing me, I thought it was like an AK-47 or like a, because it had like a banana kind of clip thing there. I don't, I don't really know weapons, but I suppose I didn't want to get shot by this either, but it was, it's only a 22, but I took that. I didn't look under his face mask. I don't really want to know who he was. I'm almost back at this point and I'm uh, just keeping an eye out for others and when I get back I gotta be careful that the house is secure and then I think I'm gonna cook something for myself. I'm kinda hungry. I've been walking back for a while and I finally admitted to myself I think I got a little bit turned around. You know, getting hunted by some dude shooting at you kind of you know, fuzz your, your focus a little bit, and I, I lost my way just a little bit. Uh, and that's not really a huge deal. I've got a compass right in my backpack, but there's a really easy way of finding your direction wherever you are, as long as you can see the sun, and if you have an analog wristwatch with, you know, hour and the minute hand and everything. Uh, and I can see the sun right over there, barely through the trees. It's starting to get a little bit late, and I'm getting pretty hungry. Uh, what you do in the northern hemisphere is you point the hour hand directly at the sun, and then you draw an angle between the hour hand and the you know, uh, noon on there, and right between that angle, uh, that direction is due south, and obviously the other direction is due north, and that gives you all the rest of the compass heading. So I, I could have pulled out my compass out of the bag, but I had this. I can see the sun. It's really quick, and, uh, you know, it's just one other way of finding your way through the woods if you're lost. I think I'm almost back. I, I know there's, uh, you know, swamps around my house. Once I hit those, they'll funnel me right in. And then I got to make sure that, you know, my house is secure when I get back there. But I'm kind of, kind of starving. Uh, I've got granola bars in the backpack, but those are, those are emergency granola bars. And I'm, I'm not, you know, someone tried to kill me today, but it's, it's not an emergency quite yet. So, so I'm going to hold on on those. And actually, I want something warm. I want some comfort food when I get back home. That's what I think I'm going to be doing. <sighs> But I gotta get going.
I uh, cut my hair short. I've had a really rough day, and in cinema, uh, whenever the main character has a profound, life-changing, uh, traumatic experience, they'll oftentimes cut off all of their hair. I didn't want to cut it all off. Anyway, I just needed a haircut, so I cut my hair. This, uh, this reveal shot with the, uh, the glass, actually, was the only thing that took some actual extra effort. To get condensation on glass, you need cold glass and hot, humid air. Uh, but the only way that I have to heat air or water in my house right now, with the grid being down, is the wood stove. So I had to boil the water on the wood stove, which tended to heat up the whole house, including the glass. So it actually took a fair amount of uh, ingenuity to keep this glass cool enough so that this condensation would stick to it. Uh, it was an enormous amount of wasted time, uh, and I've got to stop doing that because I almost got myself killed today, and I escaped it not because I was smart or clever or made any good decisions. I was just dumb lucky that that person was just stupider than I was. You know, thinking back, I was on the edge of that green behind a stone wall, and that person was running across an open field at me, and I decided to run away. That was a horrible decision. I went from a really, really safe location to just running through the woods. And the only reason I didn't get shot was because that person was just wildly shooting in the air. At one point, they even dropped their magazine off the, the weapon. Although I, I noticed later that wasn't actually that difficult to do because the magazine release is right near the trigger. It's actually an interesting design decision. I don't know. But uh, I'm only alive because of dumb luck, and I have to stop depending on that. So tomorrow is going to be the first day of what is going to be the new normal, and I'm going to get serious about security and and taking this all uh, maybe a little more seriously than I have as I laugh about it. But tomorrow is going to be a new a new day, and uh, I've got a lot to do. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.